Hey, Adam. What's up? Uh, you like news? I do, but only jazz news. Oh, well, you're in luck today, my friend. John Stockton. I'm Adam Manis. And I'm Peter Martin. And you're listening to the You'll Hear It podcast. Daily jazz advice coming at you. Coming at you. Today's episode is sponsored by the Oxford American. Uh, make sure to take a minute to visit oxfordamerican.org slash YHI. That's You'll Hear It. You'll find a curated collection of music content, including an interview with Les McCann, a video feature about a lifelong collector of 78 RPMs, and an in-depth story on John Coltrane. Uh, again, that's oxfordamerican.org slash YHI. And be sure to sign up for the Oxford Americans e-newsletter yep. so that you don't miss out on important announcements, events, and other musical happenings in the Oxford American universe. I know you're a newsletter subscriber. I am a subscriber, and I would, as, as I am a magazine subscriber, and I've been to their, I've actually played at their venue. I'll just say folks that are in the Little Rock area yeah, um, stop into their wonderful venue called, called South on Main, a, a totally unique club, restaurant, a bastion of of um, high southern culture, I guess. I no don't know kidding. What they call it. Yeah, it's, it's such a cool place, right in the historic district down by the river uh, in Little Rock, Arkansas. So check in on that when you're there. How amazing cool food, amazing that? cocktails, amazing music, amazing folks. Awesome. Yep. Uh, so what's new this month, week in jazz? <laughs> okay, so actually we got some big news this week. All right. And I'm kind of excited about some of these things. Um, we're going to start... Uh, in New Orleans, mm. so we're coming up on festival season. So yeah. several of our um, things that, that that caught my eye in news the, the, this week are f- jazz festival related, and none was bigger than this. Um, when we talk about jazz fest, jazz festivals, we talk about jazz fest. And I'm from New Orleans, and in New Orleans, we just call it jazz fest. It was never like the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. That was just later on, yeah. or the Acura Stage Presents. Yeah, the, that's you right. Know, that corporate crap. It was jazz fest, so it's yeah. still jazz fest. You know, they don't call New York style pizza in New York. New York style pizza. They just <laughs> call it pizza. Know, that's right. Yeah. And in New York, nobody calls it Avenue of the Americas. It's Sixth Avenue. <laughs> You're a big tourist. So anyway, but the New Orleans Jazz Fest. This is the 50th year, so this is a big year. It's a milestone. It's it's uh, big, and so like they because it's a jazz festival, they had to hire to book the biggest, most popular, most iconic jazz group, or at least something New Orleans of all time. So they this year they booked the Rolling Stones. Makes sense. <laughs> Um, no, I think they, you know, Quint and his amazing staff there, Quint Davis, the, uh, one of the architects, founders and, and, and leaders of the, uh, jazz fest, you know, they really outdid themselves with this one. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, this is an amazing thing. All jokes aside. I mean, they were like, we got to go big, go, go big or go home. They've had you two. They've had other big groups there before yeah, yeah, yeah. the boss, you know, um, but they, uh, Louis Armstrong back in the day played the jazz fest believe it or not but the thing about this was you know rolling stones that's the biggest most expensive band as far as i've heard in the world now so that's been booked for a while big thing um what happened over this last week is that they had to cancel because mick jagger is sick apparently yeah it's a shame um so they uh they backed out and then this is a sh- cool- sure it's not keith richards it's mick jagger? <laughs> i know keith richards is gonna be alive and everyone's gonna be gone gonna live us that. all yeah, yeah it's gonna be ringo star and keith richards <laughs> Um, but then uh, somebody did something, uh, I don't even know exactly who this was, but I read about it on NOLA.com, big shout out to New Orleans Times Picayune, um, but on April 1st, they had a little tomfoolery, much as we did uh, here at the You'll Hear It podcast. Yeah, I heard about this. And then they said Led Zeppelin was going to be reuniting, and people got so excited, and they waited a whole day to say, no, we were just kidding. Led Zeppelin's going to be reuniting at Jazz Fest, filling in for Rolling Stones. So that turned out to be untrue news. I'm not going to use the F-A-K-E news mm. moniker because I don't believe in that. Uh, but that was more lo- lo- having a little bit of fun. But I think there was some depressed uh, Led Zeppelin fans. You There's know? no Led Zeppelin without John Bonham, let's be honest. Yeah. All right. And then also, you know, the other April Fool's thing is the fact that they were going to have a big jazz group at Jazz Fest. That was just April Fool's joke, though. Ha! Ah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, some more news. Uh, the Newport Jazz Fest announced uh, the latest wave of artists to this year's festival. Yes. Uh, set for August and second uh, at Fort Adams State Park. Yes. Uh, the f- have you been to Newport Jazz? Fest? I've never been to Newport. You got to take a trip. Uh, you might have to take take your group up there and uh, 
we could talk to our friend, friend of the podcast, friend of Open Studio, Christian McBride. Big shout out, you know, artistic he, director. He's the artistic yeah. director. Hint, hint. We might get a little four forty twos there, but it's an amazing place right there. Uh, the sailboats come up. I mean, it's beautiful. It's right at the end of that road with like the Vanderbilt House, like the biggest mansions in the country or the world, and usually the weather's amazing. And um, Christian's doing an amazing job. This is his second year, I believe, officially. And yeah. George Ween's still a little bit involved, which is cool, too, because he founded the festival. So let's let's uh, rattle off some names here for this yeah. third wave of, of artists that are coming. Common, yeah. a special performance by Herbie Hancock. You ever heard of him? Yeah, but you know what he's doing with the trio? It's a special trio. Yeah, with Christian, Christian McBride, McBride and Vinnie Caliuta. Yeah, that's going to be nice. I like those guys. I like all three of those guys. Tank and the Bangas. Are you hip to Tank and the Bangas? No, I'm not. Dude, Do I need check to it out. It's super great. It's, yeah, it's right. just like incredibly uh, amazing uh, poetry and jazz. It's incredible. Nice. Uh, Ralph Peterson and the Messenger Leg Legacy. This is funny. I'm just looking at this Saturday. I don't know what site you're looking at, but it, they kind of screwed up the, the listing. It kind of worked out nicely, though. Um it says Saturday, August 3rd, 4th, I'm State Park, Kamasi, Washington. These are bullet points. And mm -hmm. then a special performance by Herbie Hancock with Christian McBride and Vinnie Caliuta. And then Diane Reeves with Peter Martin. And then another line, Romero Lobombo. And then another line, uh, Reginald Beal and Terry Young. That's just got, Diane's band. Yeah, that's yeah, the whole band. That was good. Well, that's got very all cool. Wow. Um, okay, so there's, man, there's so many. I, maybe we should do a You'll Hear It from Newport this year. What do you think? That would be You'll cool. be there, so maybe You'll I'll just there. meet you up there. That would be awesome. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Because we'll Thundercat, folks. I've never seen live. I want to see live. Thundercat is awesome. Uh, always good to see the Bad Plus. Yep. Uh, let me see. Mark Turner, I haven't seen in a minute. I would love to see him again, especially at Newport. How are they going to fit all this in? Maybe this is just people that they booked and they're hoping to get sometime. I want to see <laughs> the bass, bass and drum duo of Reginald Veal and Terry on Gully. That would be great. <laughs> Tia Fuller's Diamond Cut, friend of the podcast. Yeah. M Micaiah McCraven. Have you heard that? that yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gosh, that's such good stuff. Yeah. No, this can be good. And then some stuff like that, you know, may not jump out at you, but it's probably going to be amazing. Berkeley Global Jazz Institute Workshop. That group, that's uh, folks that are under the tutelage of um, John Patitucci and Danilo Perez's kind of school within a school of Berkeley. Super interested in that. Well, let's, let's talk to uh, Christian and see if we can't get a little, uh, a little backstage pass. Some little backstage you pass for You'll Hear It. And maybe, right. maybe we can meet our You'll Hear It fans up there as well. That's right. So that'd right. be cool. But it's a great festival. Amazing. Um, very different than New Orleans that we spoke about before. Way smaller. I mean, it's all these groups, which is great. But but pretty much all jazz. I, I got to give it up, you know. Yeah. And I mean, you know, having Common and stuff, like, I mean, he is so, like, to me, that's no, con I mean, I know with some of the old school folks, no, they'll be that like, that totally counts. Yeah, I mean, he's totally so, counts. like, you know, you know, tied in with the with the, the modern jazz world and the musicians. And, yeah. And um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. So next we have, in This Week in Jazz... Um, oh, this is cool. The Keystone Corner is reopening in Baltimore. And I, you know, it's funny. I saw Todd Barkin like, I feel like it was, no, it was like a month ago in uh, New York. Okay, maybe it was a little more because I think it was Jazz Congress, so maybe January. But I remember him saying, like we talked for a minute, always great to see Todd, legendary you know, producer. He's the founder of the original Keystone Corner in uh, San Francisco and then in the East Bay and then Japan. And, and he booked Dizzy's at Jazz and Lincoln Center early on and many great things. Uh, NEA Jazz Master as well, Todd oh, Barkin. Amazing. Yeah, but he was saying, he's like, we're going to reopen. I'm going to restart Keystone Corner. And, you know, Todd's older now and he's talked about before. I was like, really? And um, but he did it. And he that's that's the kind of guy Todd is. And he's doing it in Baltimore. I didn't catch that it was going to be in Baltimore, but I think this is super cool. It's opening April 30th and he's already got a bunch of really good people. I don't know if you've heard of a gentleman named Ron Carter, who Ron Carter yeah, heard of um, trio who's going to be opening the first couple of days. They just had Cyrus Chestnut in the club picking out a Steinway piano. Todd does it right, you know. I mean, it's in Baltimore. You better lock that bad boy up if you know what I'm saying. That's right. Shout out to Warren Wolf, um, Baltimore, East Baltimore in the house. But uh, Joey D, jo Joey D Francesco's, some famous organ he has is going to be housed there. Really? So there's some good stuff happening there. Sounds like it's going to be a... Kenny uh, Garrett's going to be there the first week. A new hotspot yeah. for jazz on the East Coast. That's yeah. great. And I mean, Baltimore is such a jazz town, and they haven't always had you know venues that stuck around a long time. So I'm, I'm really excited about this. Well, man, this has been a this has been a great edition of this week in jazz. I think, uh, I mean, unless you have more, you have more that you'd like no, to no, talk no. about. That, that's, it. that's it. We had a couple more things, but we could do that next week in jazz. We could call that. Oh, <laughs> we, we could actually do a bi week, bi monthly, weekly. <laughs> I'm confused now. I know exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, don't forget about our speak pipe challenge. We want to have a speak pipe week around here. You'll hear it. So yeah. please go to you'llhearit.com. 
go to the contact, leave us a voicemail, which we call speak pipes. And we don't want it to be a speak pipe Zoom from Vancouver week. I mean, that would be fine, but maybe one of them could be Zoom and then four others, folks, right? I, I mean, Zoom, don't, don't keep them coming. Keep don't them coming. stop the speak pipes because we, lo- we like Zoom's questions, but we just want more. That's right. all. We just want more people to participate. So if you have a question for the You'll Hear podcast, you can do that. Also, send your uh, tracks for Andrew at You'll Hear Yeah, we're getting Andrew, that rolling again. Andrew at OpenStudioNetwork.com. That's right. Andrew at OpenStudioNetwork. We might get featured on the outro of a future episode. That's right. Also, um, don't forget we have our um, special tip, but we're going to get to that in a second. Our legendary Peter and Adam special uh, tip on jazz festivals. We're going to do it on. Oh, come on now. What is it? A little playoff music. No, play-in music. (laughs) Um, Yeah, but uh, in the meantime, why don't you hop on over to the OxfordAmerican.org. That's OxfordAmerican.org dot org <laughs> allergy season <laughs> slash oh, y h i and you can get a yearly subscription for only 25 bucks that's a great deal okay um and now because we're at the end of the episode we're going to give you peter and adam's ultimate tip on jazz festivals okay and this is if you want to get in for free at a jazz festival wait around the backstage entrance when you see a musician put on a ski mask and grab one of their passes and then you can go in for free how's that that's an ultimate tip not bad don't hear it. <laughs>